All right, just going to do a quick video showing you that the Catholic Church is guilty of adding to the scriptures and adding their heathen Greco-Roman Babylonian traditions to the Word of God, and how scripture does condemn what they do in adding to the Word of God and changing the Word of God. Because the common passage that people often go to, which is a good passage to use, is Revelation chapter 22, verse 18 to 19. But the Catholics will always counter that and say, well, um, that's just for the book of Revelation. It doesn't apply to the whole Bible. That's not true. And, uh, the book of Revelation does apply for the whole Bible, about adding to, the, in, adding to the Word of God, in which case the Catholics add their heathen Greco-Roman traditions to the Scriptures. But going to show you a couple of verses that condemn adding to the Scriptures, which is what the Catholics are guilty of, adding their traditions to God's Word and God's commandments. So first, turn to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes, and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and go in to possess the land, go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, commanded you, uh, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. You know, do not add from it, do not diminish from it. Don't add your heathen Greco-Roman traditions to the commandments of God. Very, very simple scripture to understand there. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 32. What things soever I command you, observe to do it, thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. Again, repeating what it said, Revelation chapter, or sorry, Deuteronomy chapter four, verse one to two. Do not add to it. Do not diminish from it. But the Catholics they add their man-made traditions, which come from Greco-Roman heathenism, to their, to the commandments of God. Proverbs chapter thirty, verse five to six. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he approve thee, and thou be found a liar. Don't add to his words. But Catholics, they do add to his words. They add their heathen Greco-Roman traditions. But God's word is pure, not their Greco-Roman traditions. Their, their Greco-Roman traditions of Roman Catholicism are not pure, but God's words are pure. Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, Stand in the court of the Lord's house, and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house, all the words that I speak, what that I command thee to speak unto them, diminish not a word. Don't diminish a word. Don't change it. Don't, you know, try to lump in your Greco-Roman heathen traditions. Don't diminish a word. But Catholics, they do, they are guilty of that, diminishing the word. And finally, you know, Revelation chapter 22, verse 18 to 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city, and from the things which were, are written in this book. So Catholics are guilty of all the verses we just read. They're adding to, they're taking away from, they're trying to lump in their heathen, Greco-Roman, Babylonian, Mesopotamian, Egyptian, Hindu traditions into the holy commandments of God. They're diminishing from God's word. They're saying, well, we can just ignore that part because the church traditions say otherwise. The Pope speaks ex cathedra because he's the vicarious filii D, the substitute son of God. Gives himself the title of Holy Father, which is the title of God the Father in John seventeen eleven, and also a violation of, of Matthew twenty three verse nine, and calls himself Reverend, which is another title of God, in Psalm one hundred eleven verse nine. The Pope is a blasphemer, and he speaks ex cathedra for his God, the God of this world, in Second Corinthians chapter four verse number four. The Pope is a blasphemer. He is adding to and taking away from the Word of God. And the Catholic Church is guilty of all the verses, or all the sins that these verses I just read condemn. 
they are adding their heathen Greco-Roman traditions to the Holy Scriptures. So those are some scriptures that prove that the scriptures are the final standard. And there's plenty of others too. I can go through a whole ton of them, which I might do in a future video. But the Roman Catholic Church adds to the scriptures. You see, they're adding their papal traditions. They're not going by the word of God alone as their final standard. It's the word of God, but if the holy traditions go against that, we're just going to follow the holy traditions. What are they doing? They're diminishing from the word. They're adding to the word. Roman Catholicism is not a Christian church. Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult. It's condemned in Revelation chapter 17 and Revelation chapter 18. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism and follow the scriptures as your final standard. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.